everybody, Nostalgia Scott Kunchi guys with part four of Monster Sanctuary. So in the last episode we tried taking on that Amblorgna there and that proved to be a bit of an issue. So this guy, if we talk to him, he usually gives you items when you first talk to him. Crystal shards allow you to teleport back without actually having, um, uh, what's it called? Without having, um, a teleporter around you. Oh yeah, we can still go down here. Well, I guess we can go check out the ocean. Oh, it's dark over here. I don't think we have... Oh, technically we do have fire, though. We don't have a light. But we do have this. How do I... Where is the... Oh, wait a second. I don't remember how to do it. What the heck am I listening to? I don't know, it was like weird knocking, like on a window, but I'm upstairs, so that makes no sense. It's, it's not me. Oh, it's the music! Also, we can actually lift this by using you. Yeah, it's just the music here. It's like throwing me for a loop. It sounds like somebody's knocking on the door. A reward box level 3 and a craft box. Now, those are important items. Because if you go to them and then you go to uh, open them up, you get, like, upgrade materials. Those ones are the worst. But the reward boxes give you, like, volcanic ash, which is an evolutionary item. And apparently it's going to give it to us twice. Now... I do believe we have to go to the library to talk to Will. I think? Is that what we're doing, is going to the library to talk to Will? Skill resetter... Skill resetters are also super useful, especially when you want to, like, level up your guy in a different regard. I'm pretty sure we have to go here to talk to Will, then we go to the other place. Yeah, there's Will. Yes. And Science, The Alchemist. If you guys want to read this, you can just slow it down to like 0.5. Now, I do believe... Oh, no, we have to go do the, the, the battle challenge. So, that's a thing. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, we have to go up here. There are like battle challenges that I'll get you rewards to. So, you got to go up here to the Keeper's Tower. I think we can... Yeah, we can technically get the, the teleporter here. So, we got that one unlocked. We have to go this way. Yeah, let me talk to this guy. A keeper duel. You don't actually have to win it, so that's one thing you can do. If you don't really... You don't have to win, so don't worry if you don't have good monsters yet. Because we're on a randomizer, so the chances of getting good monsters are actually really, really, really slim. And I'm ready. There's no rules, you just... It's a 6v6 as opposed to a 3v3. Oh, I guess I got rid of the other guy, right? Um, I guess we'll fight the, the Magus in the middle. Oh yeah, if you go first, your third one doesn't get to attack. I will admit though, the music in this game is phenomenal. Oh, and we got Flamestar, or we can go Fireball. That actually didn't do very much for being super effective. Let's be real here. It's probably a higher level than us, simply because of the fact that- Oh no, they got defense buffs, that's what they got. And we'll go flame strike. Oh, we got the burn off of it, so that's good. Oh, our Tengu died, so let's go for death. That's like literally doing no damage now. Which is really sad. Oh, they have a Tengu as well. Oh. Oh god, we got Mario out here trying to do work now. Um, Poison Bomb, I guess. We don't really have anything. We're gonna lose this because we don't have good monsters, but oh well. Oh no, our poor Mushroom. Now we have Polter up and Go! Spore Bomb! 
and we're gonna die. That didn't actually do much. That guy died, though. Tackle attack, go! Now they're just gonna bombard us with random attacks. Oh, we got poison. And there we go. Now we have to go to the... What do they call them? Cells, right? I'm pretty sure they're cells. Also, your parents do live here. Um, if you didn't know that already. But you have to rank up, and then they'll give you rewards. But I really remember the rewards not really being good, or them not functioning the same sometimes. I don't know. It's kind of hit or miss with how they give you the rewards. But I do believe now we can go down here with this guy. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. You have to, to go test your strength and do that. Stronghold Dungeon is where we are. Which, this is a prison cell. I don't think this guy tells us anything. Yeah, not much use. They do become useful, though. Don't get me wrong. So we can open up this one. Nice. Open up this one. And then we can use the mushroom to drop a mushroom here. To then open up this last one. And it's just a crystal shard. So we're going to go into you. Simply because I find your ability to be just that much more grand. Because there are a lot more breakable walls than there are buttons to push. I keep forgetting, I was used to playing Soul. Soul Hacker. Minotaur, Steam Golem. Okay, Minotaur. We kind of an interesting one to get, I guess. And Fireball! Oh! Ow. Ow. They do kind of hurt, honestly, though. Like, they do a lot of damage, that's the thing. Oh, they activated shield and just slashed us. Okay. Um, that's not super effective, so... I don't know. We'll poison him, I guess? There we go. No, we lost our dude. That sucks. Cool. Lightning slash! Poison Bombo! There we go, that's some good damage. Oh, I got the shield up again. There we go, we've defeated them. Oh, he's only level 8. Okay, so since he's two levels lower, what we can do is we can actually use the level badge to level him up. And now these guys are level um, 10, so that means we actually can get more skills. So we can get Fire Shot level 3, and we can get Lightning Slash level 5. We can also get this Wildfire. Whenever a monster in party applies burn on an enemy, I have my cans. I gotta move that so I can actually read the TV. Um, 40% chance to spread to another enemy. That sounds useful. And then we'll go with just increased attack. Like, we got special moves over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, magical, magical. We don't want magical on a physical creature, because, like, look at its physical versus its magical. Why would you ever go magical? And then we can also do you, where we can get Solar Rays level 3, which now does 220% to 280% for these. That's pretty substantial. What's this? Aging at the end of its turn. Yeah, I believe that technically increases stats, right? Yeah, so it goes up 3% of each stat. Also, that one was using this attack, Void Flare. Void Flare is pretty good. It's, it's a useful one. And then Tengu, we can give you... Um... Nothing, because you don't really have anything yet. You need to get up one more level to be useful. Oh yes, Julia. Hello, Julia Andrews. What are you up to? Long time no see. I see you haven't been in any movies lately. That's cool, I guess. Careful, some chests can actually be enemies called Mimics. Uh, do we have electricity? Uh, I don't think we do, do we? No, we have ice and earth. We don't have electricity. I'm pretty sure you get technically... Ooh! These are void, void noise? Vodanoi. And they're a rare creature. Oh, we didn't spread the, the fire to other enemies. But we could fireball and just kill it off. I'm pretty sure they're the strongest ones to deal with. Oh, never mind. I forgot water is super effective against us. Which sucks. So they're not weak to... or resistant to fire, which I found kind of funny. Oh, you're supposed to attack the other guy. So I'm actually going to use this on you. 
because you actually do more damage to these guys, and they can just do this. Now we can poison them, so we'll slash. Uh, we'll go to you, which can poison bomb. And then solar rays them. And there we go. And we didn't get anything from that. Really sucks, because we really need new monsters, but we're not getting anything. Which is a real, real, real shame. Oh! These guys are cool, I guess. Even though we have most of these guys, so we'll get rid of the strong guys in the middle. Or strong guy in the middle. <laughs> barf, barf. Getting multiple stacks of statuses is good, too. The guy in the middle will die anyway, so... Not much we have to do there. Poison and bleed. Alright. I think he'll die if we use Flame Strike. No, he didn't quite die. That's a bummer. Now he's got a shield up again. Oh no, he died. I think now he'll die, right? Yeah, now he's dead. Luckily, you don't have to heal magic or health after battle. That's one thing I really do like about this game that beats something like Pokemon. Or like, that stuff carries over. I, I prefer that it didn't. Like this game. Because it just makes things annoying, you know? Alright, and Tengu leveled up, which means we have three skill points to get him Fireball level three. Ooh, we have Fireball Storm. Ooh, I think we'll get Fireball Storm and Poison Bomb level three. So I think with that, we are a lot stronger now. Okay, this move... We need to move Heavy Blocks. Do we have that ability? Um... No, we don't. We have diamond blocks, but that's not what we're looking for. We have a blue gem. That's pretty good, I guess. Not the best item in the world to find. There is a secret pathway they have to go down to get to there, and I remember being really annoying to find it. Like, you can't go this way, because there's clearly a locked uh, door from the other side. I think it's, like, in one of these stairs, right? Where's the third enemy? Oh, it's another fishy dude. Fishy dude, the fishy dude, the f -f 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 fishy dude. Oh, we didn't get a bird. Okay, we can kill you with a multi-hit move, so that's good. Like Flame Strike, for example. Yeah, you keep attacking the guy in the middle. No, not the guy in the back like that. Vile Fiend. Are we gonna die to this? I think we're actually gonna die to this, which is annoying. That's really a bummer. Yeah, we're gonna die. Yeah, and you lose gold if you, um... Oh my god. What sucks about retreating, though, is it doesn't move the enemies away from you, it just puts them... Okay, so that connected to the blue caves, so that's good. The issue is, we're not getting any new monsters, and we don't have a lot of super effective abilities against any of these guys. Hey, we already went this way, so this way is kind of a dead end. It does connect us to the blue caves, however, which is... fine. I still... Is it there? I'm pretty sure it's like in there you have to break something to get to the secret. Hopefully we do find some kind of new cool creature though. Especially one that we can actually get. Wait, that opened up that one, so now we have to loop around again. Ugh. One thing you'll notice about this game is there's a lot of backtracking. And a lot of exploration, which is perfectly fine, I'm not complaining about that. It's just sometimes it can get a little annoying, especially if you've never played before, and you don't know where you're, you don't know where you're going. Ooh, Crystal Snail! Alright, we'll take down the Minotaur, because they're strong. The guy in the... Uh, the snails don't do a lot of damage, but they do do... They have a lot of buff type stuff. Yeah, like those Mega Shields. Okay, we got some bleed. They're weak to ice for whatever reason, and we'll poison them to get the poison off.
Now we're gonna have some extra damage, something like this, and it's dead. Alright, Lightning Slash, got some bleed, and let's get some poison off. Well, oh, there's the shield. I think we'll just wait for you. That way we can do more with Ice Hail. One more hit, and or one more turn, and it should be dead. And there we go. And we got a Crystal Snail Egg. And then we can open up this one, so... Alright, Crystal Snail, and we'll call you... How about Snelly after Spongebob? So we got Snelly. Snelly the Snail. Um, and how about we use Snelly as a backup one, I guess? And then we'll check out skills. We got Gemstone Rain, Restoring Shield, Target Shield Target. So yeah, we'll do that because it'll target our friends. We can apply Chill. Shielding actions can do stuff again. Uh, you are a magical attacker, so we'll do that, and we'll do some health, and some more health. So we'll just make you a, just a pure tank. We're gonna really need to start equipping items soon, but I haven't found a creature that I necessarily want to keep on my team. If we could find more goblins, then we could just do a pure goblin team, which is actually really, really strong. The like, goblins are definitely, like, S-tier in this game when it comes to teammates, or like, uh, a team comp. Alright, and then we want to go back this way. And then we want to do this again. Which means that we can go down here. I made it over here despite not actually needing to go here. Okay, you know what, we're gonna fight these guys just for the XP. Because we do need level ups. And then we will... I guess technically... I guess poison them, right? Just to have some kind of damage on them. And then we'll lightning slash attack. And then ice hail attack. And then flame strike attack. I didn't actually kill the guy in the middle. Oh, now they got both. They both got shields. That's annoying. Uh, oh, he had the redirection attack, which is kind of cool. I guess. Poison bomb. Okay, there. Their main attacker is down. Now we just have to kill this. Kill this guy right here, game. Thank you very much. Okay, he should die next turn. Which is good. Okay, we got the bleed damage off. We'll do that, and we'll get the poison damage off. There we go. Now we just have to... kill this guy, hopefully. Before he kills any of us. And if we do get an egg, please give us one that we can actually use. Ooh, we got the Vodanoi egg. Or Vodanoi egg. Which I think we're going to honestly use in place of the other guy. So there's our Vodanoi. Which is actually a boss monster in this game. So we'll call him... Merman. Because I guess that's what he is, right? And then we'll actually switch him for... Um, let's see. We'll switch you for death. And then we'll switch you... Oh, you're level 10. We'll switch you for him. Because you're not really that useful. Anyways, we do have skill points, so he has Fiery Stabs, Physical Damage, and Aqua Blast. So we can also go for Lightning Slash. But I think having the Water Attack will be good, and the Fire Attack will be good. Now what's this? That's Explosive Blast, which hits all enemies. What's this one? Ooh. That is good. We have Counter Attack. Then we can also go Max Tanky Build. And what are these? No, the more health we have, the more damage we do. That's pretty good. And then for you, we can give you... Oh, God, yeah, none of these attack. Charge stack, health. We don't really have anything... Is this the bleed? 
Yeah, I think we'll go with the bleed, just to have it as like a, a secondary offensive ability. So, oh, this looks like a good spot to end the episode. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be exploring more of this area and maybe even the next zone. See you guys next time.